Hi everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome back. So today I thought I would do my November favorites. The month of November is over, which is hard to believe. We're going right into the holiday season. I'm very excited about that. Um, I wanted to first say Happy Thanksgiving. I hope everybody had a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving with their friends and family, for those of you who celebrate. And also I wanted to say, in case my parents are watching, happy anniversary to my mom and dad. Today um, is the 30th of November and it is their 50th wedding anniversary, which is a huge, huge accomplishment that um, not very many couples share nowadays. So um, congratulations and happy anniversary to them. So let's get into November favorites. I thought I would start with a hair product that I have been loving and I don't know if I ever talked about it on YouTube but I definitely posted an Instagram picture when I got this and it is the color proof super rich moisture system so I got the moisture shampoo and the moisture conditioner and they are the ones in the big purple bottles and I love this color proof for those of you who don't know was is a hair care line that was started by the gentleman that I believe started Pureology and when he sold Pureology off or left Pureology he started another hair care line and that hair care line is called Colorproof and they make wonderful products this moisture shampoo and conditioner has really really helped my hair you know for those of you who color your hair or bleach your hair you know how hard it is this really has smoothed my hair really, really nicely. I don't get near the amount of frizzies that I used to or staticky hair, that kind of thing. I love it. It is a little bit pricey. It is um, in line with what you would pay for Pureology products. However, you can't get it at like Ulta. You have to find a salon in your area that sells it. So I will put a link below to the Colorproof website just so you can, if you're interested in trying it, you can find a salon near you where you might be able to pick some up. I love it. Once again, I'm using the one, the moisture, the super rich moisture, which comes in the purple bottle. They have a smoothing line. They have a few different um, versions for depending on what type of hair you have, but I love this one. Okay, I'm trying to decide kind of where to go next. Let's talk about foundation. So I have changed the foundation I'm using um, because I fell in love with this one. And this is the YSL Youth Liberator Foundation, which the bottle looks like this. The bottle in and of itself is beautiful. I, so for this foundation, you know, I have a little bit of a story, but I love the foundation. It is a nice medium coverage foundation it cannot, I, in my opinion, this foundation cannot be built up to be full coverage. It's not, if you need a full coverage, not for you. This is also a beautiful satin finish. It's not a matte finish, but it's not overly dewy either. Because I have an oily T-zone, this does not get oily on me. But it stays nice and satin looking throughout the day. Which, for someone with mature skin, is definitely what you need. It stays all day. It is not a 16 hour wear foundation, but it, I can wear it for eight full hours with just a tiny little bit of powdering like at hour six or so. Love it. it um, the one thing I don't like about it, so it comes in a beautiful glass bottle, which for travel is not the best thing. It does have a pump. It is quite expensive. Here's the thing I don't like. They they do not have the perfect color for my skin. They have a BR40 and they have a BR20 and I fall right in the middle of those two. And when I first got samples of it, I got a sample of the 20 and a sample of the 40 to try to figure out which one would work the best because we could tell that the 20 was too light and the 40 was too dark. And I wore the 40 and I wore the 20 and they just, neither one of them were like, wow. So I went back and I tried one of the colors that's not BR, it's just a regular um, beige. And that didn't work for me either. So I got samples again of the BR20 and the BR40. And I mixed them. And it's the perfect color. But that means <laughs> that I have to buy two colors. 
to get my perfect match, um, and I did. So I have the 20 and the 40, and I mix them half and half, and it is the perfect color for my skin. And as I get darker in the summer, I'll use a little more of the 40, and as I get lighter in the winter, I'll use a little more of the 20. And unfortunately, that's what I had to do to get the perfect match, but that is how much I love this foundation. The finish is beautiful. It doesn't settle in my lines. It doesn't settle in my pores. It's beautiful. Um, and I haven't felt that way about a foundation in a long time. And I knew, before I bought the two, I mean, I used a lot of samples of it. So I knew I would love it. The other thing I will say that I love about it is I have pink undertone to my skin. And a lot of times when you go to the rosy foundation colors, they are really, really pink. These, both the 20 and the both the 20 and the 40 in the beige rose are much more neutral. Slightly pink, but just maybe more, mostly neutral. And I like that because I don't like my skin to be overly pink. These work perfectly for me. And it's unfortunate that they don't make a beige rose 30, but, you know, I buy two bottles that last twice as long that way. And I love it that much. So, okay, let's move on. For, um... I've been playing around with some of my basics lately and I will say that for contour and actually I've been using this to sort of add color to my face as well I've been using my MAC um, sculpting powder and this is in the color sculpt I have it in bone I think it's called bone beige as well but the color sculpt seems to work the best for me and I just use this to sculpt under my jawline you know my cheeks a little bit and then I just use it to sort of sculpt my forehead and then whatever's left on the brush I kind of warm up my face with it and it seems to work really really nicely and I love it I don't know why I stopped using it and tried all these other crazy products this works beautifully and it's very affordable so it is a pro product which means you can only buy it in a pro store or online you do not have to be a pro to buy it so if you're interested in you know trying some of the MAC sculpting powders you can buy them online at maccosmetics.com this I really love it's just a matte powder it the color is very soft it's perfect like if you are um, there it is it's the perfect color for light or even medium skins if you're any darker than medium I don't it's probably not good for you you probably need to go darker and I'm sure there's a darker version but this is perfect for me they also make one in taupe if you feel like you need something that's even cooler toned you could use the taupe one but I like sculpt it works perfectly for me and it's very affordable and I tried all these other products and I came back to this and I just love it so I don't know what happened I don't know how I got so far off track but I'm loving it okay for shadows recently I picked up a Marc Jacobs palette that I am in love with. I blame this purchase on <laughs> Cornelia from Baby Cake 390 because she wanted this palette so badly and so I went and picked it up for her and you know sent it to her we did a little swap and you know she did an eye look with it and I thought that's beautiful and I never even really looked at it when I picked it up for her so then I had to go back and look at it and it's lovely. So here's what it looks like. It's a beautiful neutral palette that's really, I mean it's just a basic neutral palette but I love it and since I've picked it up I've been using it every day. I mean that's what I have on my eyes today. They have four shimmers on this side and then three mattes. So you have a matte cream color for highlighting the brow bone or putting on the lid. You've got a great soft brown transition and then you have a really deep color for doing the outer V or lining your eyes. Today I have this in the out I have this dark color in the outer corner and I've lined my eyes with it as well. And then I used this color all over the lid, which is just a soft sort of a champagne color. It looks a little lighter there than it does on the lid. On the lid it looks like a really soft skin tone. The, um, the end color is beautiful too. This color is beautiful on its own all over the lid. It's just a little bit of the dark brown in the outer corner. It's beautiful. That's all you need and you, your eyes look beautiful. I will say that the mattes are very nice. They blend beautifully. Here is the soft 
transition color. It, it blends beautifully. I don't know if you'll see it on my skin or not. Let's see. Now you're not going to probably be able to see it. Oh yeah, you can see it. it. They blend beautifully. They're a nice... They're, um, they're not very powdery, actually, when you're working with them. The only color I would say is for party nights <laughs> or party days is this one right here. And it's because it has some glitter in it, and the glitter is pretty chunky. So maybe it doesn't look like that there, but when you... It's a beautiful color. See, it's right here, but it's got a lot of glitter in it. I don't find that the glitter gets everywhere like the Charlotte Tilbury one does, but it doesn't stay just on the eyes. I will say that. So that might be a color you save for, uh, you know, more evenings out or going out, that kind of thing. But all of the other ones are just beautiful. And like I said, since I bought it, I've been using it every day. I love it. It, um... Yeah, I can't say enough good things about it. The The colors stay all day. They blend beautifully. I line it. I line my eyes with it. That stays all day. I don't wet it. It's been amazing. So I'm loving it. Loving it. Okay, and lastly, I have some lip products that I have fallen in love with. I probably should have had a makeup wipe here to wipe my hand. But it was really hard for me to choose a lip you know, a favorite lip product this month because I have so many that I am in, I'm just loving. Because I went out kind of in the fall and picked up a bunch of colorful lipsticks that I'm not used to wearing, I've been so in love with wearing them that every day when I get ready, it's hard for me to decide which lipstick I'm going to wear because I love them all. So I'm going to talk quickly about three of my favorites. The first one is a MAC lipstick and it's a luster and it's in the color Capricious. And this is just a beautiful, it looks a lot darker there than it does on because it's a luster. So it's, um, you know, it's a, it's a light, it's not full coverage. So this is just a beautiful sort of plummy berry color. This is sort of my everyday in my bag. When I just want to throw something on, this is now my go-to. And I love it. The second one that I would say is an absolute fave is one of my uh, Givenchy lipsticks and this is one of the uh, Rouge Interdit formula and this is in the color uh, Sensual Rose which is just a beautiful rose color. Um, maybe it leans a little corally I think. Here it is right here. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful soft rose color but it's got good color to it. So when you wear it, you definitely have color on your lips. And I love it. This is this really makes my blue eyes pop when I have it on. And the last one that's a favorite is a, a YSL Rouge Pure Couture and this is in the color 09 which is Rose Stiletto. And this one I bought the full size. So I, I have shown this in the tiny size that came in a kit that I keep in my bag and it's down, it's actually worn down to a nub. So I did go out and get a full size one because I love it. And this is again, just a beautiful rose color. This is more, um, and here I hope you, you can see the difference, but this is much more of a rosy color where this one, the Givenchy has a little more um, coral to the pink where this one is just much more of a rosy pink. This is what I have on my lips today. It's a beautiful, has a little bit of a scent to it. It's a beautiful formula. It, it wears beautifully on the lips. It's not long wearing by any stretch, but it wears nicely. And when it wears off, it does leave a little bit of a stain of pigmentation, which is nice. So you don't have to worry about, you know, your lips looking totally bare. I can wear this without, I can actually wear all three of these without a lip liner and I don't have to worry about it bleeding. You know, having a lip liner on helps it last a little bit longer, but I haven't been wearing glosses over anything or anything like that, and I've been loving all of them. So these are my favorite lipsticks of the month. And I will say about this YSL one, almost every single time I have this on and I'm out in public, someone stops me <laughs> and says something about how beautiful I look today. Strangers. And even my husband has said, what? What on earth? Like, what is going on? 
And I'm like, it's the lipstick, I'm telling you. Something about this lipstick makes people notice you. It's very odd. Um, so if you don't like that kind of attention, this isn't a lipstick for you, but I love it. Love it, love it. Those are, uh, did I get everything? Yep, those are my favorites for the month of November. I didn't really have any fails. I was trying to think if I had anything that I just didn't like at all, and, and I really didn't. So um, no fails this month. So that's it for today. I hope everybody is having a fantastic day, and I will talk to you all again soon.